I'm very proud that in April I became the first candidate to put forward a comprehensive immigration plan. And we saw those images, <laughs> watching that image of, of Oscar and his daughter Valeria uh, is heartbreaking. It should also piss us all off. If I were president today, I would sign an executive order that would get rid of Trump's zero tolerance policy, the remain in Mexico policy, and the metering policy. This metering policy is basically what prompted Oscar and Valeria to make that risky swim across the river. They have been playing games with people who are coming and trying to seek asylum at our ports of entry. Oscar and Valeria went to a port of entry and then they were denied the ability to make an asylum claim. So they got frustrated and they tried to cross the river and they died because of that. My plan, and I'm glad to see that Senator Booker, Senator Warren and Governor Inslee agree with me on this. My plan also includes getting rid of, rid of Section 1325 of the Immigration and Nationality Act to go back to the way we used to treat this when somebody comes across the border, not to criminalize desperation, to treat that as a civil violation and and here's why it's important. We see all of this horrendous family separation. They use that law, Section 1325, to justify under the law separating little Thank children you. from their families. Jose, and so I want to challenge just, every single candidate on this stage to support the repeal of Section 1325. Let's be very clear. The reason that they're separating these little children from their families is that they're using Section 1325 of that act which criminalizes coming across the border to incarcerate the, the parents and then separate them. Some of us on this stage have called to end that section, to terminate it. Some, like Congressman O'Rourke, have not. And I want to challenge all of the candidates exactly. to do that. I, I just think it's a mistake, Bethel. I think it's a mistake. And I think that, that if you truly want to change the system, then we got to repeal that section. If not, Thank you. then it so might as well be the same policy. policy. A lot of folks that are coming are not seeking asylum. A lot of them are undocumented immigrants, right? And you said recently that the reason you didn't want to repeal Section 1325 was because uh, you were concerned about human trafficking and, and drug trafficking. But let me tell you what. Section 18, uh, Title 18 of the U.S. Code, Title 21, and Title 22 already cover if human we, trafficking. This is a known smuggler or drug trafficking. I think that you should do your homework on this issue. Sure that they are if you did your homework on this issue, you would know that we should repeal this section. Me llamo Julian Castro y estoy postulando por presidente de los Estados Unidos. The very fact that I can say that tonight shows the progress that we have made in this country. Like many of you, I know the promise of America. My grandmother came here when she was seven years old as an immigrant from Mexico. And just two generations later, one of her grandsons is serving in the United States Congress, and the other one is running for president of the United States. If I'm elected president, I will work hard every single day so that you and your family can get good health care, your child can get a good education, and that you can have good job opportunities, whether you live in a big city or a small town. And on January 20th, 2021, We'll say adios to Donald Trump. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.